Oh, hello guys, this one here was brought to me with suspected engine damage and it is making a clunky funky noise, it's a Hawk Moto 80cc off-road buggy car wicked little frame, all the extra webbing inside well we're away to find out what's wrong with the engine give it a once over and let me get it started See the buggy's trying to move. That tells me it's a clutch. Which is down inside here. Should be a high torque clutch. So let's get this baby opened up. Get the clutch off. Right, this right here is probably all the tools we're going to need to probably change everything. But we'll take it apart bit by bit, a couple of extensions, that way we can get to the bolts in the back of the engine. And I'll show you a little trick on how to get the clutch off. So that is probably it. Sockets are 12mm and 13mm. Round the back of the cart here you just got a couple of little allen headed bolts. I'll just quickly get them out of the way. And then there's another little bolt on the other side of the orange casing, which will be right down there. So that's it. It's the only bolts to get this orange case off, and we will be right back. Right, guys, try to work in between a neighbour cutting their grass, but we removed the orange case. Now we have the clutch over here and this shaft here, and you take these two bolts out. But before we do that, we have to release the tensioner bolts down on the back and then release the two bolts on the side of the engine here and there's another two on the inside here and just under here here get to the bolts from underneath we need to release them so we can move the engine about to get these off and i'll get that done just now right guys little trick to releasing the bolt on the shaft is just a tap with a hammer. Well, that's tightened, but <laughs> you're just put it on in short, sharp taps, and you'll be able to uh, break it loose. See how the clutch is still spinning? Put it in here, we'll just give it a couple of little dings. You can do it with any spun, I'm just using one of these, but as you can see, the bolt just comes loose now. So. That's how you get that off, and when you put it on, give it a good few dinks up. Even though the clutch is turning inside, give it a few extra hits, and it'll just tighten it on that little bit more. And that's a funky little tip to stop you from opening up the other side and jamming up the flywheel. Right, let's get this bolt slackened off, and get all the bolts around the bottom of the engine slackened off. Now for these back ones here, it's just as simple as slacking them off or if you've got them high off the ground you get a good spin just release these to the end of the bar once they get the nut to the end of the bolt there'll be enough room for wiggling do that to both the bolts now to get the bolts underneath at the bottom of the engine i use a short extension for the bottom and because there's no space to get a socket up here at these bolts we use a shifting spanner right guys now we've done these two and these two it's time to Come around the other side of the engine and get these two now for these i just use the two ratchets with a small extension and a long extension okay guys so a little ratchet at the bottom big ratchet at the top and just start undoing them now when they come off there will be a bolt and a washer and then a spring washer and then the nut because on the top where it tightens down there'll just be the you put this on first, the spring washer and then the nut the washer and the bottom part of the bolt come up through from the bottom and I just like to roll them together just to keep them together well I'm taking them apart and we'll get on to the next one on the other side and that'll be us we'll be ready to take it apart okay so that is both of the bolts from nearest the seat totally removed kept together. Now we should be able to uh, wiggle the engine 
We need to get this bolt here. We need to crack that loose. Keep these together as a spring washer and a washer. When I get them, I usually like sit them upside down in a tub so that they can't get lost and they stay the way they're supposed to be. Now we take the bolt out of the clutch. We need to keep that together also. Upside down safe. Right, now let me get this camera set up. Okay, so now we're set up. So you'll find we can pull stuff forward but nothing wants to come off. So we just twist the engine enough to get the chain up and over and then we can pull both sets of cogs they will come off there we go turn the engine and that's them off like so right. now in case you're wondering when it goes back on this part goes to the go-kart side so the small sprocket goes to the front there is a retainer ring inside, so if you're trying to get it back on, it won't go any further. Don't hit it with a hammer. You can just reach in here with a finger or a screwdriver and level that washer out of the way so the shaft it goes straight on. Right, and inside here as well, I don't know if you can see, but there's a thrust washer that always must go on before your clutch. So make sure you're not losing any of that. Yeah, it's a dodgy clutch. Things rattling about all over the place. And it was loose on the actual shaft itself. We can get it back on. Look at the wobble. I keep it from rolling, but yeah, there's mega play in the outer casing. So it's a clutch that's bad and the tires have got a slow puncture. So I'll order two tires and the clutch should be here today at some point because that's what I suspected was wrong. So we'll wait for the postman and we'll be back soon. Right, we have nice and shiny new clutch. Now I did notice on the re receipt it said non-genuine and on the back it's shiny and this one it's dark. But this has epic play and wobble in it. This one, solid. So let's get it on. Right. So we're doing everything pretty much in reverse. Now remember, you can't get too eager and stick it on. You need to use your thrust bearing, it goes on first. And then. Oh, it's not finding the keyway in this one for some reason. Oh, I don't think it, oh well, oh, I didn't think it was going to fit. Excellent. Right, now we need to get the other cog so we can get the chains on. Now this one might be a bit tricky and I might get in your way, but we'll stick the chain on. we we'll dangle it up the back. Right. The other shaft is pretty much on and in place, but we don't want it to be there because we need this bottom chain on the bottom sprocket to come up and over. Now we need to be careful it's aligned with the chain sprocket before we tweak it back over. Oh yeah, the center ring. There we go. And we are back on track. So, <clears throat> I don't know how much of that you actually saw, but the chains are on now. A little bit of fiddling, but please remember the clip in the middle, the retainer ring. Or else you'll be smacking that on there, wondering why it's not working. So, the only thing we need to be careful about is how we tighten the engine back down. Make sure there's a little play in the chain. If you're tightening that down and this chain is rock solid to the bottom sprocket, you have to release it, maybe wiggle it towards 
the seat of the cart to give it a little bit of flex. Try tighten it up again. If it's too tight again, you'll need to release it, wiggle it a little bit more forward. But now it's just a case of putting this bolt in, this bolt in, re-threading the ones through the bottom and messing about with it a bit. I'll show you how much flex I have before I tighten it. But basically that's it. Okay, so we get these tightened up. Look at that engine bouncing. Right, and then we do the other trick again with the... Oh, I'm using a bicycle spanner. You can use any spanner or instrument that will fit the bolt. And again, we just sneak it on there. Tap it up. I'm only doing it a few times. The more the better, so you know that it's definitely on there. But yeah, just make sure you. I'll probably self tighten. That's, that's probably enough. I'll give it a few more. Helps if you're on the strong stroke of the petrol engine as well. Right, as you see, chain's mega tight, and if we tighten that down, that'll be way too tight. So let's just wiggle it back, and we will start getting the bolts threaded back through these holes again just now. So that's these big ones. Remember, it's the head of the bolt and the washer, and they go up through the bottom, and then it's the spring lock washer and then the nut that goes on the top let's get them in right so we have these two bolts that are down here tightened in for the engine and we will come around tighten these two bolts and then come over and tighten these two bolts because we have it pretty much set perfect then we'll give it a start and see if it's still whacking away inside that engine which I don't think it is because those clutches are common for that kind of fault. So let's get it checked out. Okay, so let's get the kill switch put on for I'm pulling for hours for no reason. Right, puppy, are you ready for the unveiling? Oh, look at that. Ticking away, lovely. Not even trying to pull away by itself either. I just killed it out because the choke's not full on yet, but excellent. So chain's good. As you can see, we've still got a little bit of wobble in there, maybe too much. I might slacken the bolts off, tighten up the chain tension a little bit, put the bolts down again. But let's get the orange case back on, and job's a good one. Okay, hey guys, so all that's left is to replace the tyres. I don't think they're coming today, they might not come tomorrow, so I don't know. I might wrap this video up and we will just get a tyre replacing video put up as soon as they come. But that's it Hawk Moto 80cc off road go kart buggy, cracking little thing. So, yeah, wicked little tool. Nice webbing on the side, the safety net, and the seat moves forward for all different sizes of people. Pretty wicked. And there's room here to stick any engine you want on it. Right, well, I'm going for now. So, thanks a lot guys. I hope this helps somebody. If it does, maybe come back and leave us a thumbs up or drop us a comment. Alright, so, bye for now.